Hi guys and welcome back. This is Dom and today I'm going to show you six reasons why Wavelab can be your audio editor of choice for any given application, from mastering and audio editing to restoration and easy handling of large number of files. Reason number one is the simple and streamlined workflow. So let me show you, Wavelab has two main editing environments. The first one is the audio editor and this is where you can perform very, very detailed edits, you can perform fade-ins and fade-outs, you can perform those audio editing tasks that are so simple to do, but sometimes they might take a lot of time to perform in a DAW. So let's say you want to open an audio file, remove this gap at the beginning like this, and then perform a nice fade-in at the beginning. You can do it like that, then hit save, and then your audio is saved straight to your hard drive. You don't need to export the file or rename it or do all those unnecessary tasks if you just want to perform a simple function like this. In the audio editor, we have some really, really powerful tools. For example, we have the envelope tools that allows us to create very, very detailed and quick envelopes and apply them straight away to our audio file in no time. We can also perform those critical functions like remove DC offset, change the loudness of an entire track according to LUFS values. We can perform time stretching, pitch shifting, and the algorithms sound great. We can even do pitch bends. I can just click on pitch bend and create an envelope for the pitch. And this way I can change the pitch of my material dynamically over time. We also have a great auto split function, which means let's say you've recorded a live performance and there's a gap between the songs. The auto split function can identify those gaps and create all the separate files for you automatically. Reason number two is the audio montage. And the audio montage is a non-destructive editing environment. It's great for mastering, great for putting songs together in a single timeline and making sure that they work together as a whole. The audio montage also features clip-based effects. It has very flexible routing with track effects and output effects, and it allows you to edit your audio non-destructively, create fades, cross-fades between tracks automatically, and it can even help you level match your tracks using the meta normalizer function, like this. Last but not least, if you are in the audio montage environment, creating an audio CD is just a few clicks away. You just go to the CD tab right here, go Functions, CD Wizard, and then you just apply. And then Wavelab takes care of everything, creates the markers for you, adds the necessary gaps, and then you're ready to burn your audio CD. Reason number three is the error correction capabilities. Wavelab can really help you identify problems or errors on your audio files, and of course, it can help you correct them. On the correction tab, you have all the necessary tools to scan your audio file for problems, and because it's such a high-precision audio editor, you can really zoom into the waveform and even see the samples. You can grab your pencil tool and really start redrawing the waveform like this. And of course, if there's an error in your waveform, Wavelab can help you correct this automatically. We also have Restorig, which basically contains a complete set of restoration tools from Dick Clicker, Denoiser, Debuzzer, everything that you need to perform restoration tasks on an audio file in real time. Reason number four is spectral editing. Wavelab has a very powerful spectral editor, the spectrogram, that allows you to see the entire spectrum of the audio, identify problems with frequencies, identify noises, things that shouldn't be there and allows you to surgically remove any problems in your audio files. This features extremely powerful tools like the in-audio painting, allows you to select specific frequencies and just audition them, which basically serves as a magnifying glass for your audio. You can even embed your own unique watermarks on your audio files if you wish to do that. Reason number five is the incredibly powerful batch processor. And what the batch processor allows you to do is to take any number of files, it can be 10, 20, 100 files, 1,000 files, and basically run a routine. Maybe you have a plugin chain that you want to apply to all these files. Maybe you want to convert them to different formats. For example, you might have 20 WAV files and you want to convert them all into MP3, FLAC, AAC, or any other format. 
Basically, the batch processor can automatically do this for you at the flick of a button, and you don't need to be there to attend all these things or perform those really time-consuming tasks manually. The batch processor also has some really unique plugins like the loudness meta normalizer that allows you to level match your files after the whole processing takes place so that you get a homogeneous sounds in all your files. Again, everything is automatic. WaveLab takes care of all these processes for you. And of course, it goes without saying that the batch processor can automatically rename your files and you can create naming schemes, which means all the resulting audio files will be renamed according to the attributes that you set. And reason number six is the powerful and tight integration with Cubase. And let me show you. So let's say I have this audio event in Cubase and I want to perform some really detailed audio editing in WaveLab. All I need to do is just select it, go to audio, and then click edit in WaveLab. And then the audio opens automatically in WaveLab. And I can, let's say, go to the spectrogram and maybe I want to perform some really surgical editing right here. And I'm remove this snare completely, for example. And now, I, of course, I want to go back into Cubase. And it's as simple as that. Check it out. I just need to click on this icon right here, trigger Cubase, new endo update. And then automatically, I'm back into Cubase. And as you can see, the waveform is updated and it's there for me to use, which means I don't have to worry about exporting the file first getting it into WaveLab or another audio editor, performing the edits, and then importing it back into Cubase and worrying about dropping it into the right place. So this can make me work faster and be more creative and be more efficient. So these are six reasons why WaveLab can help you with all your audio needs. Hope you found this video useful. Let us know in the comments down below what you'd like to see next, and we'll see you in the next one.